Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells is here. A lot of people are keeping an eye on mm -hmm. Dorian. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Suddenly we have a new depression as well. So let's oh, go goodness. get on over the maps right now and just show you what's happening. Pinpoint in the tropics, this thing that grew here just off our coast this weekend has now moved out to here. So it's tropical depression number six. Never going to be a player in our forecast. It's zipping this way. So it's there. It's interesting, but it's not super important. What's important is tropical storm Dorian. Long way away. Lots of time to get ready if it is going to come our way and a lot of time for a lot to change with the storm system. For now, we watched it grow during the day today. Pulse up, pulse down, pulse up, pulse down. They're saying from the hurricane center, the wind speeds are able to find in there are still only 60 miles per hour. So it's a strong tropical storm right now. Pressures at 1,002 millibars. That has not changed throughout much of the afternoon. It pulsed up. It looked like it pulsed down, but it didn't lose any of its strength. Not yet. Here's what you really want to see. The path to projected movement. It's now prog to come right through the Caribbean here with 75 mile per hour winds going just to the south of Puerto Rico and then nipping right at Hispaniola on this path. Some of the models bring it just through the gap here and don't really clip Hispaniola at all very well. So if it went right over the center of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, it would lose a lot of its punch. They think it interferes with it enough that it does weaken it some, but by Saturday night, we're talking about a very strong tropical storm or maybe a Category 1 hurricane sitting right there just to the east of Bimini, rocking towards Miami. So Florida now is in the cone of uncertainty for day five and day six. All of that's going to change a bit, a bit over the coming days, but we will keep you posted when it does. In the meantime, here's radar for us tonight. Scattered showers are out there. Some of the showers were impressive earlier. This heavy rain that we were tracking right there in downtown is kind of Lost its mojo, but we've got a few scattered showers building now right along the county line under the big I-4 symbol. Look at that, though. There comes the West Coast Sea Breeze doing its march. It's already moved past Dunellen, nipping at parts of Sumter County, and will eventually roll into Marion, Sumter, Lake. And some of these showers are going to make it as far over as Orange County as we go into the evening hours. Our roughest time in Orange County is probably going to be between about 7 and 8.30. Watch what happens tonight. Here's 8 o'clock. There you go, pouring, pounding rain from Marion County through Lake County into Seminole and Orange. And then we turn the corner, and after about 8.30 to 9, it slows down a bit and doesn't totally wind down until about 10. Tomorrow, scattered showers come right back. There's your West Coast Sea Breeze again tomorrow afternoon by noon, well-defined, and then marching on through. And then on Wednesday, little pockets of rain by 4 p.m., another West Coast Sea Breeze dominant kind of day. Your low tonight in Orlando is 77. Here's tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by your Central Florida Honda dealers. Daytime high tomorrow into the 90s. By 6 p.m. tomorrow, we're back to 86. The heat index still off the chart. Well past 100. Check out the week ahead. Your daytime high tomorrow is about 93 degrees. 92 on Wednesday, Thursday, 92. And then as you look down the road toward the weekend, we could be dealing with impacts from a tropical storm hitting the state of Florida. So those rain chances on Sunday, Monday, and even as late as Tuesday could go up. Some of the models bring it in kind of bring it into Florida, then up as a big rain event. So we'll let you know.